Exosomes and the bioactive molecules that they transport are important regulators of intercellular communication. Scientists are increasingly studying these extracellular vesicles to understand their function in cell-to-cell -cell communication and to explore diagnostic and therapeutic applications. Traditionally, exosome isolation has been tedious, time-consuming, and subject to experimental variability. Ultracentrifugation is the gold standard for the isolation and purification of exosomes from biological fluids and cell culture samples and enables accurate and reproducible yield of exosomes while minimizing co-purification of protein aggregates and other membranous particles. For all centrifugation steps, the force that is applied is a function of the speed of the centrifuge rotor and the radius of the centrifugation. Make sure to correctly calculate the force for the centrifuge and rotor used. Automated liquid handling provides a consistent, reproducible, high-throughput method for experimental setup and scale-up. Several differential centrifugation steps are required to remove whole cells, cell debris, and large aggregates prior to density gradient isolation. Start with a low-force centrifugation to remove cells and cell debris. Then centrifuge and filter through a 0.22 micron membrane to remove smaller cellular debris. Pellet the exosomes by high-force ultracentrifugation and resuspend the pellet in PBS. When setting up a density gradient, minimize disturbance of gradient interfaces by pipetting slowly with the pipette tip above the liquid level. Layer the resuspended exosome solution onto the gradient and ultracentrifuge. Density gradient ultracentrifugation is used to isolate exosomes from co-purified proteins and other membrane vesicles. Exosome sediment in the range of 1.13 to 1.19 grams per milliliter. Ultracentrifuge the gradient fractions to pellet the exosomes. The exosome isolates are now ready for size determination analysis prior to experimental characterization. To learn more about exosome isolation, please visit the Beckman-Coulter website.